Hi friends, welcome back. Mehjubin here. In today's video, I am going to explain Robert Burns' poem, A Red Red Rose. So this is how the poem is started. Oh, my love is like a red red rose. So the poet is saying that his beloved is as beautiful as a rose and that her cheeks specially are as red as the rose that's newly sprung in June. So he is comparing his beloved to a rose which springs, which blooms in the month of June. So this is a simile. Oh, my love is like the melody. Then he says that his love, his beloved, is like the music that sweetly played in tune. And his beloved is also like a beautiful uh, harmonious music so fair are thou then he says that his beloved he is addressing his beloved art thou Ar, art means are and thou means you and fair means beautiful so so fair art thou my bonnie lass lass is a girl um, who belongs to the country to the village and bonnie means attractive and beautiful so he is saying that you are such a Beautiful girl, my bonnie, bonnie lass, so deep in love am I. And he says that I am deeply in love with your beauty. And I will love thee still, my dear, till, uh, till all the seas gang dry. And then this is an example of hyperbole. This is an exaggeration. So this is called as till all the seas gang dry. This is hyperbole. And here the poet says that he will continue to love her till all eternity, till all the seas gang dry. That means he will love her forever and ever. Now there is another example of hyperbole here in the third stanza. Till all the seas gang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. So the melting of the uh, rocks with the sun uh, this is also a hyperbole this is something which is exaggerated uh, here so it's a figure of speech hyperbole like similes and metaphors and the poet says that he will love her till all the seas go dry and then also he will love her till all the rocks on the face of the earth they start melting with the heat of the sun so this is something that is not going to happen so in other words, he means to say that his love for his beloved is permanent. I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. So he says that I will continue to love you forever and ever until the sands of life shall run. That means until human life continues uh, to exist or until my life continues to run. So in a here again he also gives the, uh, gives the idea that life is made up of uh, the human body is made up of sand and then when that body dies it mingles with the sand and fare thee will my only love and fare thee will a while so he says and now he's saying goodbye to his beloved his one and only beloved and he says that fare thee well will a while that means I hope that you stay well while I'm away and I will come back again my love so he says that I'm going to return to you one day though it were 10,000 mile however far I go away from you it doesn't mean that I will never come back even though I might be 10,000 miles away from you there will come a point of time when I will return to you so this is how he is addressing uh, his beloved with this I come to the end of this poem I do hope that you have understood it and until the next time we meet bye